This clip starts with a free kick on the far side about 15 yards from midfield. As the player approaches the ball, the white back line gets into a side-on position and starts to drop to cut out the long ball, take away space behind, and stay in front of the ball if they don't win it. As the ball is struck, the left back stays in the back of the opponent to apply pressure, which causes a poor touch. As the touch comes across the field, the nearest defender, who is a white center back, steps up to pressure, and a left back falls back in. As the ball is played back and wide due to quality pressure and compact shape, the right back closes space while the ball travels and stops as the opponent takes her first touch, allowing the defender to be balanced and have enough time to react to the opponent. Because of that, the opponent chooses to pass back, and the near side number 8 travels as the ball travels to close space while reading the touch of the opponent before making a decision and is then able to step into the tackle because she has read the big touch. This results in another negative pass, which is the cue for the rest of the team to step up the field to compact the space. They are also narrow as a group, with about 20 yards between them side to side. This compact shape forces another wide pass, and now the left back closes space like the others have. The rest of the back line shifts over so the right back is now in the middle of the field with a slightly open body shape so she can see the ball and the defender on the other side of her. The left back contains the opponent and the number 6 is able to intercept the ball. Again, you can see the back line and diamond midfield shape and how they have shifted to deal with the